Hey, what's going on guys? So it's been a minute since we released a video here on the channel and sorry about that. We've been living in the RV, traveling, touring through Florida, running demos, and I guess life on the road just got the best of me. But we're back and I'm gonna do some videos answering common questions. So one of the most common questions in kiteboarding for the last five years really has, well probably since kiteboarding started, has been how do I stop my harness from riding up? And really you have two options you can do a seat harness which can be bulky a little restrictive and to some people i guess kind of feels like a diaper other people find that to be super comfortable it's better on their back all the poles coming from their hips so for new riders people with shorter arms things like that those really work incredibly well but that leaves the rest of us so if you don't have any back issues if you don't happen to have shorter arms and you want to reach your athletic peak well then you're gonna have to go with a proper fitting hard shell harness so when I say proper fitting what I mean is when these hard shells came out they were a game changer because they're made to fit the riders back they're stiff so they do support your back more. They're lower profile than say like a soft shell harness. And for most people, they don't ride up. And I've actually done reviews on almost every hard shell on the market back when I was doing review videos for Mac kiteboarding. And I went from Ride Engine to Mystic and now I am riding AK. So AK Durable Ico has this super sick looking hard shell. And what I really like about this one is it has a boutique look. It's super durable, has the low profile, and it has a good bit of padding inside. So I found this one to be super comfortable. And really what got me on this one was the spreader bar option. So every hard shell, it's going to it's going to have a spreader bar that will usually have winglets and some kind of double release, something to prevent the, um, the spreader bar from digging into your ribs. So as long as a hard shell is a good fit, it won't ride up, but sometimes that spreader bar can kind of flip. And what really got me about this one is this, it's kind of ingenious. I'm gonna take the camera off here to show you. So what really got me is you can see it's very simple. We have this little seat belt release system, so I can even do this with just one hand. And this is all super soft and rounded. So if you think about it, when that harness is pulling up, even if you have winglets, you can still get a little bit of this motion here. Put that the right way. And what's great about this is it just rolls, right? So it's rounded and it's soft. So no matter what happens, it's impossible for this to pinch or dig into me. So that's actually super smart. I was blown away when I first saw this spreader bar. And for me, this has been the best option because obviously no matter how good the fit is, you're always still going to have a kite pulling up on the hook. So even if you have winglets, you're still gonna get a little bit of twisting. And this is, actually in my opinion ahead of its time a uh, very simple elegant solution um, but anyway that that is what i am currently using but what you should do is you should go and find your local retailer and try on some harnesses because some people do still prefer a soft shell some people still prefer seat harnesses and then some of us i've been using hard shells for four or five years now and i haven't looked back so if you have any questions on this one, recommendations, I have tried them all. I'll let you know what my experience is. Maybe we could do some comparisons, but obviously I'm very biased towards AK Durable Supply now. That's what I'm using and likely what I'll be using for the foreseeable future. But if you found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, drop a comment with questions, and I will catch you next time.